Hey, little man, what are you doing? Are you playing Kung Zoo? Oh, yeah. He and his daddy set up the Kung Zoo game that they got for uh, Christmas. Ah, it's so loud in here. Anyways, I am going to go to Arizona with mom. We're going to go to halfway to go meet my brother and uh, pick up my brother's kids. <laughs> All right, I'm about to go on a five hour journey. So, yeah. <laughs> Yay, it opened up. Awesome. trying to stay out from under it though. <laughs> that wouldn't be fun. My brother. Yeah, Where'd these kids come really from? Mom, are you just picking up any kids that come from the street or what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 My family is freaking crazy. <laughs> oh, I ended up having some more of my enchiladas. 
Yes, and I had some guacamole right on there and it was so good. <laughs> My uncle's kids are always forgetting their freaking glasses. Oh, they always leave them here. I need to get a pair of new glasses, by the way. These things I have are... They're just not right. <laughs> I need some new ones. Maybe increase the whatever, you know, fix that up a bit more, <laughs> the prescription. <laughs> I was trying out the elliptical earlier and it's actually pretty awesome, so there's no problems with it. I have a lot of fun with it. Yeah, you know. <laughs> oh, I had a headache for most of the day today. It was really annoying. Uh, and what really sucked is when we went to go get the kids, is a it just kept hurting <laughs> when the kids were there because they were really loud. Then I had this really loud uh, DVD player next to me. And, and we have like one of those portal DVD players that you open. It's kind of like a laptop and then we stuff it between the seats and the kids can watch it. But yeah, we have to go ghetto style. We don't have them actually in the seats. <laughs> I made this crazy good fruit smoothie that was just like totally awesome. So, and I saved some of it because there was way too much to eat. So yeah, I saved some and I'm just going to drink it as juice for later. <laughs> Mom even liked it. She had a, a cup. I made so much that it was like, what was it, like four or five cups worth. So I was like, I only had one, so I can't really eat so much. So you know, little man calls me auntie now. And uh, <laughs> my, my brother's son's they don't know so much about me being trans like Justin's son does. So it's going to be an interesting week when Little Man comes over and he's calling me Auntie, Auntie. And then <laughs> my brother's kids are going to be like, why? Why is he calling you that? Why is he calling you that? I'm just, it's going to be a fun week, especially when I'm getting my hair cut this week, too. So this is going to be weird. <laughs> Every time I try to put Mia outside, she's like, so hesitant, like, should I go or shouldn't I? Um, it's open, but, <laughs> you know, it's so, like, dang it, Mia, just go! <laughs> so sometimes I'll swipe at her with my foot and she'll, like, skirt out, I'm like, ah! <laughs> you know what, I've had my mom's enchiladas from, let's see, for a very long time. She's been making enchiladas for, for the family forever. I've never had them without cheese. And I have to say, oh my god, it's so good. Instead of cheese, I put beans in there, because we usually don't eat beans with our enchiladas. So I put beans in there instead, and oh my gosh, it had such a... I don't know, because it's vegan too, and I don't add that much uh, oil at all. I Barely any oil, as little as I can in every aspect that I can. But oh my gosh, it is so much, there, it's like fresher tasting, I don't know, I guess that's how you can say, but it's so good. I, I just thought I'd let you guys know, because I, I've never made enchiladas before but I've had my mom's a ton of times but it came out so great I showed you guys the other day but it was just awesome and I still have a whole pan full of them so like half of it's been eaten I want Justin to have some so that I don't have to eat it all <laughs> you see Justin knows that I'm really good with doing spices because I do spices so much and I've been cooking so much recently that I've pretty much got spicing down. If if there's a spice that needs to go into it, I've pretty much got it down pat as far as how much I need or want to put in there. So that's pretty awesome that I got that down and that helps out a lot. So I don't usually over spice. If I if anything I under spice and then add a little bit more afterwards and then taste it. So yeah. It tastes really good though. So so were those taquitos, oh my gosh. Ah, uh, TVP taquitos. Yum. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> As you can probably see from my grandmother, she is very Mexican and very Mexican Indian. So, <laughs> yeah, so that's where I get a lot of my stuff from, like uh, my accent. I guess I have some accent. I guess, you know, 
everybody has an accent from wherever they're born. But I guess that's where I get some of my accent and some, some not, and how I can actually pronounce some Mexican foods. <laughs> like, uh, what would you say? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> but some people have a lot of trouble, like, I don't know. I'll figure something out. <laughs> I don't know, I guess sort of like a chorizo. I mean, a lot of people are like, chorizo. <laughs> Because I'm pretty sure it's chorizo, so, <laughs> I don't know, my mom and dad are, have a lot of white in them, so I guess I get a lot of that too. <laughs> but I've been doing this for a little over half a year, so yes, that's pretty awesome, and uh, yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, Mia's giving me a lot of attention right now. And uh, it's about time for me to go to sleep, so I will see you guys tomorrow, and I hope you have a really, really, really great New Year's, um, and we're going to go through that together, so 2011, here we come. <laughs>